Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. This one, the exact model is an IdeaPad 3 14 ITL6 model. And in today's video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the solid state drive or add solid state drive and what kind of SSDs you can have and what combination you can have even with the mechanical drives. If you want to upgrade or replace or do a the right combination i'm going to show you guys step by step in this video the only thing that you guys need to keep in mind that once we upgrade or remove the hard drives you're not going to have any operating system on the new drives i made a short video how to create your windows 10 or 11 windows usb boot drive i'll leave that link in the video description in case you don't know how to install your prop your own windows and i made another window uh, video how to properly install the windows the correct way those links will be on my video description in case you want to create your Windows USB boot drive and or you need to install it the proper way. All right, but in this video, I'm going to go over showing you the internals and how you can upgrade the storage on this one. First thing first, back up your files and power off the laptop. Uh, if you want to flip it upside down. And on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to start removing all of them. The tools that I'll be using is I fix a screwdriver set. And I love this set because they are made of S2 class steel bit. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers and a few other tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this one hand, we're going to start from one corner. All the screws on the bottom casing, they are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrades or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now we're going to grab the opening tool. And we're going to start from one side of the laptop. We're going to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover right there. And all you need to do is to just twist it outward, just like this. And you want to do the front end. And you might hear a few clicks. That's fine. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Do this all around. Okay, once you did the front and the sides, all you need to do is to grab it and wiggle it around. And it will release the back end. And there we have it. All right, down here we're gonna see right away the SSD storage right over here, and the mechanical drive right here is a uh, about one terabyte in low profile hard drive, mechanical one you can have here, or you can replace this one with a solid state drive with up to four terabyte solid state drive, because all the solid state drives are low profile, so they will fit right in here. I'll show you how to upgrade or replace this one. You can go up to two terabyte mechanical drives in here and four terabyte solid state drive. And the reason is because they, after two terabyte mechanical drive, they become really thick and it will not fit here. And right over here, there's a M.2 NVMe SSD. This is a short one with an extension right in here. You can grab a full size NVMe. For example, these are the full size NVMEs. These are really good. These are like the cheap brands are the short ones. It goes right in here and it screws right with over there. And I'll recommend you guys to grab a one terabyte or two terabyte NVMe drive to put right in here and put your windows on an NVMe storage and put a two terabyte mechanical drive right in here for safekeeping of your files. But if you wanna have fast connection to your file, to your windows, then replace it with a solid state drive so you have a solid state drive on both so the transfer files will be even faster all right before we do anything we're going to disconnect the battery it's not necessary to disconnect the battery to do this upgrade so just be on the safe side just pull this cable backward leave it right there now we're going to remove this nvme drive right here by removing one screw right at the back and the ssd will come out in 45 degree angle and then all you need to do is to slide it back in 45 degree angle and this is riser right in here goes right in there so pull this out so it just pull it out so there's your 256 gig ssd short profile but grab the long profile i'll leave the link in the description for a good ones and to install it in here you can either do it with a long one right here make sure the notch 
matches the notch right under them. You want to bring it in 10, 15 degree and you want to push it all the way inside the jack. Make sure it clicks in and bring it down. The screw hole has to match nicely, snugly right beside it. And then you want to put the screw right over. Okay, just like that. And now, if you get a short one, just let's go back. Imagine this is a new short one. All you need to do is use this uh, riser or extension. You want to push it right through here, all the way in, and then bring it down, and then screw it right in place. There we go. Now, to remove this side, all you need to do is to grab a tweezer. You want to open up the latch for the lock right in here. So 90 degree, bring it up. It just kind of latch. You have to flip it over upward 90 degree. And grab the flex cable and pull it out, slide it out. Next, we need to remove the four screw that holds the caddy that holding the hard drive. So remove the four screw that holds the caddy. One, two, three, four. The screws are the same size and height. Again, don't worry about the mismatching these screws. Once you remove the screw, just grab the whole hard drive and bring it up. Now we need this adapter. So to remove, don't yank on the cables. Put your fingernails right at the adapter on the bottom here. And then just pull it backward and the adapter will come loose. Put the adapter on one side. Now if you want to remove and replace, it's really simple. There's are two screws in here and two screws on the other side. You want to remove the screws, remove the hard drive, and place the new hard drive in the same orientation as this one in here, and put the screws on top. All right, once you put the screws on top, now next you need to grab the adapter. You want to put the adapter right through the connector. The adapter only goes in one way, like make sure the connector. Push it all the way in, and grab the hard drive, bring it, align it, the screw holes right in there. Grab the, make sure the lock is open, grab the flex cable, slide it right underneath the jack. And all the way inside the jack and just lock it down. And then put the four screws right over. Alright, once you have the screws right in there, now last part down here will be to grab the connector for the battery. Just slide it right through. Right. You squeeze it right all the way in there and the last thing is to just grab the bottom cover put it right over and just push it down really hard on the corners make sure you hear those click sounds and the last thing is to put the screws and tighten it up i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video also don't forget that you have to install your own windows in here